guys welcome back to my channel girl i hope you guys enjoyed my lipsticks video went to my collection and picked out my favorite nude liquid lipstick that i think you guys gonna really love i really do love lipsticks and i'm trying my best not to buy too much anymore because hmm waste of money and so we're gonna start off with with the drugstore first and then we're gonna go to high end 12 shades i'm gonna share with you guys and we're just gonna go through them really quick so the first one is from milani if you guys never try out milani products like you have to try out the lipstick because it's really good this is the first one here and this one is a more matte lip cream and this one here is stunning which is number 38 okay and this is a really nice nude shade i actually love the smell it's like ooh. I'm actually gonna smell this. I'm actually getting my smell back, which is a good thing. I really do like this shade, which is also dry down by now because it's only take a few seconds to dry. This smells so good. You could use this as is, or you could use a pencil on top of it, but I'm just gonna show you guys as is so you guys have an idea. how this lipstick looks now if you guys want to darken it a little bit you can do that my favorite lip pencil I like to use is from Avon and I'm just going to you like blend it you guys could wear it like this but I feel like it's a little bit too much for me the best thing you need to do is just line your lips first and then put the, the put the lipstick on because this is already drying and I can't move it so these are my three lipstick from NYX that I really do like. These lipsticks are from Lingerie line. And if you guys like NYX products and you guys want to try any of the nude lipsticks, these are really, really good. I only have three and we're just going to try the first one, which is After Hours. And After Hours is a very dark nude shade and you guys going to really like it. It's just, they smell really good. So I'm going to swatch that one right here. And this one is like one of my favorite one from all of them because it blends into my lids so well. Honestly, I don't want to put too much of it because when you dry it on matte girl, my lips is going to be on fire. This is a really nice new lipstick. You guys are going to love this color. If you guys want to pick up any of these three, I'll suggest that you pick this one up. Like I said, this one is after hours and you don't need a pencil for that one. But girl, look at this. Okay, so this one here, I don't know the shade of it. I think this is Cabaret Show. I'm gonna put that here. This is more on the pink side. Pink undertone, sorry. Like I'm trying my best not to put too much of it. Like I said, like this thing dries on really fast. Okay, and let me just take a little bit and put on my lips. Okay, so I think I put a little bit too much on this lips, but you guys get the idea of how this looks. I'm not sure if I would wear a pencil with this one. Uh, when it comes to seduction, it's like, honestly, these are really, really drying. If you guys into the matte. This one here is from Sephora. I really do love Sephora lipsticks, especially the liquid lipsticks. It's not expensive. I think this is $12. I'm not sure. I'm going to correct myself in the description box below. But this is one of my favorite new lipstick from them. And this is number 26. I actually went online to see if they have it. And it's there on their website. So this is a cream lip stain. Oh, yeah. Cream lip stain. And I'll just put that right here. This is beautiful. And it's not that drying as the NYX lipsticks. But let's just see how this one looks. So this is how it looks. Now this is my favorite because it's creamy, it's comfortable, and you don't have to worry about like if it's really drying on your lips. So I have 
five lipsticks from Kat Von D. I remember when Kat Von D came out with her lipstick collection, everybody used to talk about it. I actually have all her liquid lipsticks. And these are really, really good. They are like $20 a pop. But I remember when they came out, I used to just like buy one or two of them because I really do like them. Now I haven't used them in a while. These are all the new lipstick from that collection. I think these are the everlasting liquid lipsticks. I had this for such a long time, the name rubbed off from it. So I'm gonna go through them really quick. So this is a light one. Hopefully these are good. This is Bow and Arrow. Okay, this is it here. So this is Lolita. So I'm gonna swatch that one right here. All right, so this is what she looks like. I really do like this color. This was one of the first lips that I bought from her brand. I'm not even sure what's going on with Kat Von D now. I really don't hear a lot of people talking about her brand and I don't want this to dry down because it's a very drying formula. So you guys get the, the idea how this looks like, you know, these are old. Everybody talked about this. Wait. This is the other one. I think it name is Sanctuary. And this is another shade that I actually love. And I'm gonna swatch that right here. Uh, so this is it here, which is a really nice shade. I really like this. But this is what this one looks like. I think this one, Hawks win. But this is this one here. The last one that we have from that collection, and let's see what's the name of it because I am blind. I think this one is Crucifix. Let's just see how this one looks right here. This is like the darkest one and it's a beautiful nude shade, okay? You don't want to spend twenty dollars on this. You could get the Sephora brand because it's more like it's like twelve dollars for it. We have one more lipstick that we have to try out, and I'm of course that you guys could get this anywhere because it's still on her website. And you know I have to include the queen because you know she's a queen. This is from Fenty, and this is one of my favorite lipstick from her collection. So this is it here. This is such a beautiful nude shade, and I know you guys are gonna love this shade. Okay unveil and this you know regular shregular liquid lipstick and i'm just gonna swatch it right here i swatched that right here so you guys could see that shade all right so you don't really need too much of this lipstick what i really do like this because even though it dries down to a matte finish, it really is not that drying. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about all these lipsticks. Which one is your favorite? Do you have any of these new lipsticks in your collection? NYX has some of the most nude matte lipsticks that I ever tried in my life. I really don't use those lipsticks too much because it's a little drying. If I have to use them, I will put some Vaseline so it could be a little bit comfortable on my lips. Thank you guys so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye.